Good evening. Welcome to evening prayer for Monday, May 4th, 2020. Our service begins on page 115 of the Book of Common Prayer. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Can, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. The confession is found on page 116. Let us recite together. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for O Gracious Light, found at the top of page 118. O Gracious Light, through brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life and to be glorified through all the worlds. The Psalm appointed for tonight is Psalm 44, which is found on page 645. Psalm 44. If you have your Book of Common Prayer with me, please read along with me. We have heard with our ears, O God, our forefathers have told us the deeds you did in their days, in the days of old, how with your hand you drove the peoples out and planted our forefathers in the land. How you destroyed nations and made your people flourish. For they did not take the land as their sword, nor did they arm with win, win the victory for them. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Jacob. Through you, we pushed back our adversaries. Through your name, we trampled on those who rose up against us. For I do not rely on my bow, and my sword does not give me the victory. Surely you gave us victory over our adversaries and put those who hate us to shame. Every day we gloried in God, and we will praise your name forever. Nevertheless, you have rejected and humbled us, and do not go forth with our armies. You have made us fall back before our adversary, and our enemies have plundered us. You have made us like sheep to be eaten, and you have scattered us among the nations. You are selling your people for a trifle, and are making no profit on the sale of them. You have made us the scorn of our neighbors, a mockery and derision to those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations, a laughing stock among the peoples. My humiliation is daily before me, and shame has covered my face. Because of the taunts of the mockers and the blasphemers, because of the enemy and avenger, all this has come upon us. Yet we have not forgotten you, nor have we betrayed your covenant. Our heart never turned back, nor did our footsteps stray from your path. Though you thrust us down into a place of misery and covered us over with a deep of darkness, if we have forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to, on, to some strange God, will not God find it out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Indeed, for your sake, we are killed in all the day long. We are accounted for as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, O Lord, why are you sleeping? Arise, do not reject us forever. Why have you hidden your face and forgotten our affliction and oppression? We sink down into the dust, our body cleaves to the ground. 
Rise up and help us and save us for the sake of your steadfast love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Tonight's lesson is from Matthew chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. A reading from Matthew. In those days, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is the one of whom the prophet Isaiah spoke when he said, The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John wore clothing of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then the people of Jerusalem and all Judea were going out to him, and all the region along the Jordan. And they were baptized by him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will continue with the song of Simeon, found at the top of page 120. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, found on page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We'll continue with Suffrage Prayer B on page 122. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by, the Holy, by your Holy Spirit and the communion of Peter and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Collect of the day for the fourth week of Easter. O God, whose son Jesus is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. Collect for protection, on page 124. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessing of the day that has passed and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over the, those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, 
shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Now I ask you to offer up your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Do ask that we all continue to pray for Norm and Vonda, that we also include in our prayers Janet and Father Pat Young, as well as Monica Nunn and family, and any that you may wish to offer. Let us continue with the general thanksgiving found on page 125. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that we're truly thankful hearts. We may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Prayer of St. Chrysostom is found at the top of 126. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. You have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to join us tomorrow night at eight o'clock for Compline. We will continue with uh, evening prayer on Wednesday and Friday. We'll have a very special Compline uh, on, uh, on Thursday, which will be led by a member of EYC. So that will be exciting. Be sure and turn in and we look forward to seeing you soon. God bless and stay safe.